Welcome to our afternoon read aloud. Today we'll start by looking at the big book all about George Washington. And the heading is our first president, George Washington. Here I see him dressed in a uniform. Ooh, this must be his house, right? It's a little famous. Some of you may have visited there, Mount Vernon. And this looks like him with some soldiers in a boat on an icy river. Okay, let's read. When America asked him to do something to help, George Washington said yes. He never gave up, even if what he was doing was very hard. He was our country's first leader, so we call him the father of our country. George Washington was born in Virginia and grew up to be a farmer and a soldier. This is his house at Mount Vernon. Washington led the army when America went to war against England. He was so brave. After the war, George Washington became the first president of our country, the brand new United States. He helped our new country grow strong. A true leader. Oh, and here he is on the dollar bill and on the quarter. So those were just some starting facts about Washington. And now I'm going to read to you this biography, George Washington by Lola Schaefer. And let's now, I know when we've been studying about Lincoln, some of the pictures we were looking at were actual photographs, right? Because cameras had been invented around the time that Lincoln was president, but not George Washington. So now we're back to all, all portraits or paintings made by someone either at the time or from their imagination. George Washington by Lola Schaefer. Table of contents. Boyhood. Mount Vernon, the Revolutionary War, President Washington. Words to know, read more internet sites and index word lists. Ooh, I think this is gonna be where he was born. George Washington was born in Virginia on February 22nd, 1732. Virginia was a colony at that time. People in Virginia followed British laws. They were colonists and notice this is like a nice little house, right? Not a, not a teeny tiny poor log cabin like Lincoln. George Washington was born pretty well off. George grew up on Ferry Farm. He went to school and learned to read and write. Later, George became a surveyor. A surveyor measures land and makes maps. And you can see the, the tools that he's using. And you can still see surveyors here, you know, on the streets in Arlington sometimes doing this work with slightly different tools. George moved to Mount Vernon in 1752. Mount Vernon was a big farm. George first grew tobacco, then he grew wheat. George joined the Virginia Army in 1752. The Virginia Army helped Great Britain fight France. The countries fought over land. George helped the Virginia Army win land for Great Britain. George returned to Mount Vernon after the war. He married Martha Custis in 1759. She was a widow who had two children. A widow is a woman whose husband has died. Okay, so her husband had died. She had two kids. George loved the children as his own. They all lived at Mount Vernon. Colonists grew tired of Great Britain's laws. Great Britain would not give the colonists their freedom. The colonists began fighting the British Army in 1775. This was the start of the Revolutionary War. George was commander-in-chief of the Continental Army. He trained men how to be soldiers. He led the soldiers into battles. The Revolutionary War lasted eight years. The Revolutionary War ended in 1783. The colonies became the United States of America. George returned to Mount Vernon, but he did not stay there long. People wanted George to be president. George became the first president of the United States in 1789. He served his country for eight years. 
Then George returned to Mount Vernon. He died in 1799. People call George Washington the father of our country. Okay, and here are some special words to know, but we actually know a lot of those words and the index at the end. So again, we got to do something at the end of the book. And something I want you to realize as we learn more and more about George Washington is some of the pictures we'll see, like this one, this is called a portrait, right? A portrait is a painting of a person, maybe their face, their, their whole body also. And that usually means somebody actually looked, was looking at George Washington when they painted it, right? But a lot of these other pictures we have to remember are just from someone's imagination, okay? That's probably not what he looked like standing in front of those soldiers. So that's something to try to remember as we learn more things in history. What, what things you can be sure are exactly as they looked, as they looked, like when we see photographs of someone, like photos of Abe Lincoln, or things that are more from, uh, from someone's imagination. So I hope you have a nice afternoon. Don't forget to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.